So in this problem, we want to simplify. Uh, these are just more rational expressions. You understand that we have division here. So what do we have to do in order to divide fractions? Multiply times the reciprocal. Now, we don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm just going to rewrite this. I think some of you will do better if I do that. Some of you could just go ahead and factor while we are changing this to multiplication. Doesn't really matter. So multiply times the reciprocal. And then I need to factor. As I'm going through, if you see me make a mistake, say something. Of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can say anything you want to. I don't really care. Um, I hate to go through this whole video and then have a mistake with the sign. Don't you hate it when you screw up on signs? Now that you ever do that. So now that we have this written as multiplication, we factor everything. You always look for your greatest common factor first. I don't really see one here for this numerator. <coughs> and then you're going to notice and recognize that this is a trinomial. So we break this down just like we did the other day. Of course, I think we did this exact problem the other day. Could be wrong. How do you break down 2x squared? 2x and x, what do you know about your signs? Both positive. Both positive. Now, what am I going to do with that 6? Because see, the 6 is what breaks down, and we use the factors of 6 and the factors of the 2 for the inside and outside of the foil to give us the 7x. Plus 3 plus 2. Plus 3 and plus 2. Before you go on, take a moment to check this. This 3 times x is 3x plus 4x, and that gives me 7x. We're all happy. What about that denominator, x squared minus 8x minus 20? x plus 2x minus 10. Keller bringing it strong today. <laughs> x plus 2x <coughs> minus 10. You have to be very careful with your signs. Have you guys ever made mistakes with your signs? Never. Never. By the way, this classroom is filled with liars. <laughs> How do you factor that numerator? So I'll give you a hint. Don't don't ask me. Just tell me. What was that? X plus five x minus ten. We gotta break down the six first. X plus five x minus ten. <laughs> Lol. Mm -hmm. Now this denominator is there a common factor for everything? No. So it's a trinomial, and I expect it to factor it like this. Now I know that sometimes we may make mistakes. So let me use a pencil just in case things don't work out right. Or you guys can just tell me the answer. How do you want to break down the 6x squared? Is that going to work? If I do 2x and 3x, plus 3 and plus 5? Well, you know the 3 can't go here, right? So if I do the 3 here and the 5 here, does that work out? That's 9x. 10x, that is 19x. We are, it's clean living today. We're doing good. Let's see how long you can maintain this clean living. I have everything factored completely. I feel great. Now it's time to bring out the katanas of cancellation. What are the factors that get to simplify? One in the top and one in the bottom. 2x plus 3. 2x plus 3. x plus 2, <coughs> x minus x plus 2, x minus 10, anything else? No, so we are done. What is my final answer here? x plus 5 over 3x plus 5. That looks totally awesome. Can I reduce the 5s? Yeah. They're not common factors. They may be common terms, but that's not what we cancel or reduce in these guys. What do you think? Good?